one customer two units, two customer four units, 1.3 million. Uh. Last time I have business partner, so we share by half. After dividing our portion, we get 2.6 million. I think most of the mistakes that everybody make a common mistake, uh, which I have summarized here, the first one will be the think more the action. I'm the action taker. What I see in surrounding my friends, uh, how come their result is a uh, slower? It's not their fault. It's just that they have made a common mistake that think more than action. So this is what I keep on reminding myself. Okay, take action first. Don't think too much. The second common mistake will be too much diversification in our I mean, daily task activity, in our daily sales project. We don't need to be so uh, diversified. You need to be a specialist. Because if I'm too diversified, I cannot focus on my customer, which leading us will be lost focus. Number third problem is self-belief. If our self-belief here, we don't change. No matter what we do, we cannot get the result. Our self-belief is called a lot of secret. A lot of secret, we don't believe things will happen, the things won't happen. Unless we change our mindset here, we think everything is possible. What is the strategy for me to close to 60 million sales in that year? Uh, which I have summarized uh, this formula here. 3 F and T M. First thing I must highlight F is focus. Focus in what? We have 3 F here. First thing is focus on our goal here. Uh, a lot of people they're getting lost because early of the year they don't set their goal. The moment when we uh, step in to achieve a goal, we woman you got need, we have the motive why we want to achieve this goal. Mostly because of our family. We have a commitment to our family. We want to make our family feel proud of us. Second thing, along the journey, uh, no matter which industry, all the successful people mostly are mute. So the time I will suddenly have this kind of thought, okay, why not I force myself, I want to challenge myself to become top sales so that I can inspire women that women even is okay. From that time almost I started to work hard and work towards my goal. I want to become an inspiring woman to motivate everybody. Everybody just like what I said, they want to diversify to so many skills, so many projects. They want to be specialists and uh, so that everybody know what he is talking about and for every project they know everything. But for me, uh, I'm not the one who knows everything. I only know I want to focus in one thing. Some people they like to do white. Uh, they don't want to go deep. For me, I want to go deep. I don't want to do white. Because do what I have no something specialist or specialty that I have. The third one, focus on high value. If you focus on all this, although maybe 300, 400 cat, you imagine how many activities we have to do, how many sales we have to do. Let's say 400 cat, we have to focus 25 units here. If you focus 1 million, we only focus 10 units here. Time is the same, presentation is the same, but we have to be uh, work smart and work hard over here. But if you want to focus high value, maybe we have to know more about the tactic, to talk to different kind of the customer. Because this high value customer is different range from so-called the 400, 500 care customer. They are more educated, they are more, they need more so-called the uh, uh, informative information. So we have to equip ourselves first with all the project briefing, with all the means of the spec of the project. We still need to know all about the so-called market surrounding, the property market, uh, the soft skill, everything we have to know. So that we have more confidence to serve this so-called uh, media to high-end customer here. The third, instead of focus on high value, add one focus on referral. This referral is very powerful. Because the customer, when they come in, uh, first thing, the referee already check everything about this project. So when come to my side, actually my effort is very little. Because the introducer has already done a lot of project preparing, everything he has cycled on behalf of me already. He began a salesman on, on behalf of me already. When the customer moment is set in the showroom, I just explain and share, then he bought the unit. So my job has become easier because the trust already built by my introducer towards the customer. Okay, when come to 3F, we will come to T. This T, I always remind everyone for the time management. I believe a lot of people, uh, when they come to time management, they're having a problem here. Because a lot of people they thought, okay, we become real estate industry, we are flexible. They can do whatever thing they, they want. They don't want to they want to jump from their nine to five job because they want to have flexible hours. That's why they join real estate industry. They join all the freelance jobs. But they abuse this flexibility in their uh, so-called mindset. For me, flexibility, what do we mean? Huh? Flexibility only applicable when I make appointment with my customer. Means when customer wants to make appointment on Sunday morning, okay, I allocate my time for this customer. Flexibility is not applicable for me to do whatever things I want. As a lot of people they mix up. They think, okay, daytime now is very free, I go to Makan, I go to Yamcha. For me, my time management, I always treat myself I'm the employee staff. 
my job maybe 10 to 7 o'clock. All my personal activity I want to drag until my night time. Nobody will be responsible for our income, for our sales. We are the only one who is responsible. So we must uh, so-called discipline ourselves in time management here. Which one should we focus in this quadrant? One, two, three or four. I need to prioritize on this quadrant. This quadrant, let's say example, we do planning, we do calling, Maybe we do a reply customer email. This is the so-called things we have to focus in, not important, not urgent, but important. Because we know this is important, we can allocate our time to do all these things. We can allocate our time to do calling, daytime, nighttime, noon time, no problem. But if you want, if you see, uh, number one, urgent, important. Uh, urgent, important means uh, customer start to chase us for the quotation, start to chase us for all this information or prices or whatever details here. For me, I try to practice myself about uh, reply customer instantly. When customer asks me in the WhatsApp or whatever, I'll try my best to reply in text or by uh, voice messaging so that customer know I'm the one who attending him very fast and immediate. Customer won't go to other agents. 